Hello, this is Tori with Landio. We have a new 5.3 acre property in the northwest area of New Mexico. It's about two hours west of Albuquerque. This property is road frontage. It's near the Cibola National Forest. There are mature trees on the property. This image here, you see the big sky views with the mountains in the distance. Here we have the road that runs along the entire southern boundary. There's about 340 feet of road frontage. That road is called Green Valley Drive. Here we're looking east along Green Valley Drive, and now we're looking west along Green Valley Drive. These are all named roads. There you can see the street sign. There's some mature trees on the property. Here we have the property highlighted in green on the interactive map. There's a road fringe along the southern boundary. You can see the mature trees there. And if we zoom out, you can see all of this green shaded area just to the northeast. This is all the Cibola National Forest. You have roughly about 300,000 contiguous acres of the Cibola National Forest just a short distance from the property. Then you're also in close proximity to state land, which is shaded blue. All this yellow, this is all BLM land. This purple here is a national park. You have more national forest land here further to the east. This right here is the city of Grants. Grants is about an hour from the property. Grants has a population around 10,000. It's the county seat of Cibola County where the property is located. In Grants, you'll find a Walmart Supercenter. There's a hospital, building supplies, grocery stores, pretty much anything you need you can find there in Grants. And then just north of Grants, you have the neighboring community of Milan, which has a population around 3,200. And then equidistant over here to the northwest, you have the city of Gallup. Gallup has a population around 22,000. There's also a hospital, Walmart, Supercenter, grocery stores, building supplies. So you're kind of equidistant between these two cities. And then just over further here to the east, you have Albuquerque, New Mexico. Albuquerque has a population over half a million. There's an international airport in Albuquerque. It's the largest city in New Mexico. And it's really easy to get to Albuquerque because Interstate 40 basically runs east to west and goes right through here. The property has an elevation around 7,260 feet. You can see the contour map here showing the gently rolling terrain. It has a slope to the southwest. There are electricity lines and poles only about half a mile from the property. Many of the nearby landowners will use off-grid technologies like solar, wind, generators, things of that nature. The property is located in game management unit number 12. There were lots of fresh wildlife tracks and droppings on the property when our photographer was there. Unit 12 is desirable for mule, deer, and elk. It's said to have some of the largest elk in New Mexico. This is the paved state highway 53 north of the property. Here you have the El Moro National Monument. And you can get to the property from two different ways. Here we have it mapped out coming in from the west of the property. And here's some photos showing those roads to the property. This is the entrance of Pine Meadow Ranches. There is a community well for use by the landowners in the Pine Meadow Ranches, which you will have access to as well. So it's a free source of non-potable water. Here's some more photos of the property. This is the road that runs along the southern boundary. Here we have the Zuni Mountain Range in the distance. This is all of the Cibola National Forest. There's open terrain. You can see the nice roll to the terrain there. It gives a nice character along with these areas of mature trees. Here's some more photos showing the trees on the property. These are Google Earth terrain views. This is south of the property looking north. Here we have the 340 feet of road frontage along Green Valley Drive. Now we're east of the property looking west. You can see that rolling terrain, the mature trees. This is north of the property looking south. And now we're west of the property looking east. Several of the nearby landowners have developed their properties to varying degrees, which we have identified by these white circles. Here's a neighbor just to the northwest. They have a barn there with a corral. Looks like they maybe have some horses or other livestock. Looks like they've also taken some of these pre-made buildings and converted them into a living space. Looks like they have two larger ones there and a smaller one right here, all of similar style. There's someone that put a log home on their property. This is the neighbor nearby that has electricity. You can see some cattle grazing there in the distance. Other nearby developed properties. Here we are looking at satellite images of these neighbors. There's no minimum dwelling size. Many counties will see where there is a minimum dwelling size of 500, 600, 800 square feet. Here you can live in a tent, a yurt, an RV, a fifth wheel. You can do a tiny home, a shipping container home. So you've got a lot of freedom and flexibility with the property. As you can see, many of these nearby landowners, they have you know, just an RV or a camper. Some will build homes. Many will have accessory buildings. This is the El Moro National Monument just north of the property. It's an incredibly beautiful area, rich in history. We're only about 24 minutes to the nearby town of Rama. Rama has a population around 400. There's a family dollar. There's a cafe. There's a post office. There's some ancient cliff dwellings there. Then just north of Rama, you have the Rama Reservoir, where you can enjoy hiking, fishing, and canoeing. It's a 100-acre lake. You're about 33 minutes to the El Malpai National Monument, also an incredibly beautiful area. There's lots of caves in the El Malpai National Monument. Just over an hour from Grants, again, Grants is the county seat of Cibola County where the property is located. There's a population around 10,000 in Grants. Interstate 40 goes through Grants. 
which will then take you east directly into Albuquerque. And Albuquerque is only about an hour from Grants. Here's the Cibola General Hospital in Grants, the Walmart Supercenter. There's also a municipal airport, about an hour and 12 minutes to Gallup. Again, Gallup has a population around 22,000. There's also a Walmart Supercenter in Gallup, hospital, grocery stores, building supplies. About an hour and 25 minutes to the Blue Water Lake State Park, where you'll also enjoy fishing, hiking, boating, horseback riding. About an hour and 47 minutes to Mount Taylor, which has a population around 11,300 feet. And then just about two hours and nine minutes to Albuquerque, New Mexico. Again, Albuquerque has a population of around half a million. We have this 5.3 acre property with road frontage near the Cibola National Forest, price only $9,900. All the property details are listed here on our website. The property taxes are only $62.82 a year. There's just a $30 HOA fee that goes to help maintain the roads and that community well that you have access to. Again, there's no minimum dwelling size. There's no time limit to build. You can use the property recreationally, seasonally, or live there full time. You can do all kinds of alternative building styles. You can live in a tent, RV, a yurt. Here we have all the distances to nearby points of interest along with links where you can find more information about these locations. Here we have the GPS coordinates with links where you can open these up on a Google map. We have over 100 images and this interactive map. We have only one of each property available and we sell our properties on a first come first serve basis. If this property fits what you're looking for, please go to our website and click on this buy now button. What that'll do is add a deposit of $499 to your cart, then click checkout. Once you click checkout, this window appears where you can then enter all your information and then continue through the checkout process. As soon as the checkout process is completed, this buy now button here automatically changes to out of stock. Again, only one person can place a deposit on the property. As soon as the deposit is placed, we'll receive an instant notification that your $4.99 deposit has been received. We'll then change the property status to under contract, send you over a simple one-page purchase agreement, and arrange for the balance of payment. The remaining balance may be paid by wire transfer, cashier's check, ACH bank draft, credit card, debit card, or any combination of these methods. We make the whole process super simple and it can be completed in as little as a day. There are no other commissions or fees and we cover all of the closing costs. If you have any questions, our phone number is on top of every page of our website. That number is 713-597-7670. That number also receives text messages. We have a live chat feature here on our website where you can communicate with us in real time. If we're not available for whatever reason, please send us a message or respond to your next availability. You can also fill out this contact form here on our website or send us an email directly. Our email address is hello at landio.com. And if for some reason this property does not fit your needs, we highly recommend you go over here to our website and click on this properties tab. As of the recording of this video, we have properties available in New Mexico, Colorado, Wyoming, Oklahoma, North Carolina. You can see the properties that we currently have under contract to sell. Now you can see all of these sold properties. So we do a lot of business. We're in multiple states. We have new properties coming available all the time. At the same time, our properties sell quickly. So if you'd like to secure this property while it's available, it's a real simple process. Just click that buy now button and complete the checkout. If you have any questions about Landy or what it's like to do business with us, then also go over to this testimonials tab. Here we have testimonials from just a handful of our hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of happy customers throughout the United States and even some outside the United States. And it would truly be an honor to add you to the Landio family of happy customers. Again, if you have any questions, please contact us anytime. Thank you and God bless.